Hello, second grade mathematicians. I hope you are ready to continue exploring measurement in inches. Today is all about the word estimation. When you make an estimate, you're making a reasonable guess. It's not exact, it's around. In math, we use the word about to show that we are estimating. About seven minutes, about eight inches. So we're always going to be thinking about what it is around. Now, when might you have to estimate in life? Well, maybe you walk into a room and estimate how many people are in the room. Or maybe you see a big jar of candy and you think how many pieces are in there. You make a reasonable guess. Sometimes we have to measure items, but we don't have tools around us. So we're gonna use an estimate to help guide. Now today, we're not gonna be using those rulers you made. In fact, we're not even using a real ruler because these again are estimates. You are gonna have one thing, and the one thing is gonna be that inch model you use. So the only thing I have to guide my estimates today is my one cracker. I have to use this inch to help guide my thinking and my eyes. The power of observation is really something that all mathematicians need strong eyes, observations, and this small, small, small item is gonna help me estimate. So by the end of today, you're gonna be able to say confidently, I can estimate the length in inches using one small model. Are you ready? Get that small model now. Right, I've got my measuring tool here. I have my tile that I'm gonna use to help me estimate. Remember, I only have one, so I have to do a really good job of using my eyes and this one small model to help guide my thinking. So the first thing I'm gonna do is measure this spoon that I have, this purple spoon that we use to eat. And I have my one tile here, and I'm gonna start by lining it up with my edge right here. Now I have to use my eyes, and I need to think about inches, and I need to maybe in my mind, think about how many, maybe, would fill this entire spoon. Well, would it be reasonable to say that only two? No, because that would stop right about here. Well, maybe I should double it and do four. Well, I can think about that too. But you know what I can even use? I can use a pencil. And I can maybe guess how many they are by drawing light lines. I have one here. And I'm gonna do another one here. Maybe I even move it a little bit and think. Okay, there's another one. So they're about that size, and I can even fill it up here, about an inch. Hmm, and I can count one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, six inches. So is it exactly six inches? Uh, no, absolutely not. Is it below six inches? It might be, is it bigger than six inches? Potentially, but if I'm using this as my guide, I chose six inches as my best estimate because I thought about how many one inch crackers will fit on, on this paper and line up with the spoon. All right, I'm gonna try it again, thumbs up. This time I'm gonna use this Lego piece and I have my one model. Now this one, I seem to like a little bit more because looking at it, power of observation, it looks to me that maybe even just one more would probably fill it. So a reasonable estimate would be that this item here is about two inches. Is it exact? No, probably not. Is it a little less? Could be. Is it a little bigger? Might be two, but it's around. It's about two inches. All right, well, thumbs up. Let's do another one. What about this jar of bubbles? Here's my guide, my tile, and I'm gonna use the power of observation, and I'm going to think to myself, how many inch models will fill this entire length of the bubble? So I have about one, and I know there's another one. It's about, oops, excuse me, it's about the size of an inch. I'm gonna go one, maybe two, three, hanging over the edge a little bit, but you know what? It's closer to four than it would be three or even five. So I'm gonna guess, make my estimate, a reasonable guess that this is gonna be about one, two, three, four inches. Hmm, I hope this helps you out. All right, second grade mathematicians, now we know how we can use an inch model to help us estimate the length of an item. So when you're measuring, remember to be thinking about what a one inch model looks like. It could be the size of this cracker. 
It might be the cap of a marker, a small coin, or even a paper clip. Keep those inch models in your mind as you're using your eyes to help guide your work. Power of observation and your mind are very powerful and they'll always lead you in the right direction. Remember, trust your instinct, mathematicians. There's more than one way to solve a math problem. Have a great day.